have the height of my cup. Now I'm going to do a shaping pull. And the reason why I didn't start shaping this too early and I kept it in a cylinder form is as soon as you start pushing out, you're going to get weak spots that then gravity will want to slump the whole piece. So if you can get your height established first, then do a shaping pull, you'll be better off. All right, so <clears throat> I'm going to go down to the bottom again. And this time, I'm going to have this cup form bulge out here and then come back in. So to do that, I'm pinching. Then I'm going to be shaping with my inside hand, pushing out to the widest part. Now I'm going to be pushing in the shape or shaping with my outside hand. Then I can use my inside hand and push out again if I want. So that's a shaping pull. So you'll notice now that the height um, has been maintained, right? It didn't get a lot shorter because I was pulling and shaping at the same time. All right, so now I'm gonna just shape. So there's no pulling involved and in this stage, I'm going to use a rib. So in this case, I'm going to use a metal rib. But before I do that, I want to finish off my foot because this is a form that's thin enough that I don't have to trim it. So <clears throat> I'm going to finish off the foot now. So I have minimal finishing later. Just taking my wooden knife, cutting straight down, removing some of this excess clay, cutting in to create that little shadow for my wire tool. Now I'm going to take my metal rib on the outside, my hand on the inside to support the pressure from the outside. And I'm just shaping now. I'm just removing all of those finger marks, taking off all the wet slip off the surface of the clay. So drying out the surface a little bit. And again, my rib is at a 45 to a 90 degree angle against the clay, but not any wider than a 90. Go back down. All right, make sure my rim is defined. So bevel that one more time. And then I'll soften the edge of the foot down here. And now I'm ready to cut this off. Once I've got it centered, I'm going to secure it to the wheel. You'll notice as I'm applying these coils that I'm pushing down at a 45 degree angle. I'm not pushing in towards the rim because I don't want this rim to get distorted at all. All right, so now I'm going to finish off the bottom and I'm not removing any material. I just want to make sure that the foot is a concave shape and that the, the bottom is smooth so it doesn't scratch the surface. So I could use my metal rib or I could also use a rubber rib. And this is a red rubber rib, which is a mud tools rib made by Michael Sherrill. And it comes in different colors and each color is a different flexibility or a different stiffness. I like the red one for this because you really can flex it um, nicely and you get some nice curves. And I'm just gonna get my rib wet and I'm going to press the rib down, kind of like I'm making the inside of a bowl. So the bottom is going to be a little bit deeper than the sides. And then I'm going to finish off this foot. So I'm treating the, the edge here kind of like you would a chamois. So I really can kind of bend it around the form 